Hello everyone and welcome to another Pixel for Life video tutorial. Today guys I'm going to show you how to take some footage and turn it into a nighttime scene when it's normally a daytime scene. So the best way to do this is to kind of find a specific spot on your footage like I've done here. Now this is some free 4K footage that I found on YouTube. I'll go ahead and put a link to the in the description to that below since you guys can grab that as well. Now there's a couple of different things that we're going to want to do to this footage to actually make it look and appear as if it's nighttime. But I don't only want to leave you there, I also want to go ahead and make this look like it actually belongs in a movie. So the first thing we're going to do is type in ratio on our presets over here on the side and because I'm using 4K footage I want to go ahead and grab the 2.40 aspect ratio and you'll see there it go ahead and cuts it off up here now if we adjust this transition completion um, amount it would actually allow us to uh, right here on this uh, slider up here it allows us to kind of adjust what the size is that we want so I'm going to go ahead and just type in two here because I don't want it to be too big but I want it to definitely be noticeable and actually let's go 2.3 that's a little bit more realistic for me and that's already looking way better than it was looking on the original footage that was shot so now we need to go ahead and make this look the way we want it to so we're gonna go ahead and start off by a, once again in our effects and presets and by the way all these effects and presets that I'm going to be using uh, like the ratio one they are all from videocopilot.com forward slash presets link will be in the description below as well for that some of these are just stock after effects tools but that aspect ratio one is from video copilot so make sure that you grab that from them because it's a really great plugin to have in your inventory so the first thing that I want to do here is I want to go ahead and adjust the exposure of this scene so I'm gonna go ahead and go under my color correction and simply drag that onto my footage now once that is on I'm gonna go ahead and minimize this aspect ratio one and all of these other ones except for the exposure now the goal with the exposure is to go ahead and make it grayed out slightly but also darker at the same time so the exposure is going to allow us to drop it down and you can see there it already looks more like a foggy day but then the gamma correction we want to go ahead and um, up that to where things become a little bit more gray and then adjust the exposure some more to where it's a little bit darker and something along those lines and just remember guys that this is a basics tutorial this is not the end all be all Next thing I want to do is go ahead and type in saturation and I want to drag my hue and saturation onto this project. Now there's a lot of greens over here in the background so I'm going to go to the greens and I simply want to bring that down some like that and we'll also go ahead and drop the green lightness down. Now for the blues I want to go ahead and drop the blue saturation down some or actually I'm sorry I want to put the blue saturation up some and then I want to bring the blue lightness down and I'll really make this just appear like a very very grayed out uncolored shot and the reason we want that is to be able to make it look like a nighttime scene as I said before so now we're gonna go ahead and type in tint and this tint is actually going to turn it black and gray as soon as we put it on but if we go to map white 2 and we go over here to the blue colors somewhere around in this range and we want to select a lighter blue color something kind of along these lines we can always go in and darken it up later on if we so choose but I want to get something a little bit more blue so I'm thinking about like that looks pretty good as you can see then it's applied to the entire shot and that actually looks pretty close to it being nighttime if you ask me and I think that looks fairly fairly decent now what's cool about After Effects is once we have these sections done here we can go back into our exposure and actually adjust this a little bit more as you can see here so that we can actually you know go to like our individual channels and then we could adjust just certain colors in or out of our footage which allows us a lot more control over things and gives us a much better looking scene as you can see there 
that looks pretty good. So I'll go ahead and hit zero on my keypad so that it'll go ahead and render it out. And as you can see here, it looks really, really good. It looks exactly like a nighttime scene should. And all that we're missing at this point, guys, is some basic sound effects on this clip, which you can download off of YouTube or another website. Mine already has some on there, but that is how to create a nighttime scene in After Effects, the brand new version, CC 2014. So I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, be sure to like the video and also subscribe to the channel for more awesome videos coming your way soon. I'll see you all later.